Hello, my name is Mark Warren from Mark Warren Photography. Today I'm going to talk to you about using the wireless flash controller in the new Canon 60D. I'm switching gears a little bit. In my previous YouTube videos I used manual flash. Now I've started using more ETTL flash. ETTL has been doing some great things for me and I'm especially enjoying using it with high speed sync with the new Pocket Wizard Mini TT1 and Flex TT5. We're going to show you some future videos on that, but for now we're going to talk about the 60D's wireless flash controller. Now this is shared with the new Canon 60D and also the 7D, and I believe all the new Canons that are going to be released in the future are going to have some type of integrated flash controller. Nikon has been doing this for years and Canon is kind of playing catch up. They've still got a little ways to go, but they're off to a great start. Now, a little bit on the 60D. I know there's been a lot of flack about the 60D is a Super Rebel or it's a watered down 50D. They've taken out all kinds of features. I can say from experience the camera is very good at what it does. I've done it, used it on several shoots and so far it's doing a great job. But those of you who want to look at all the technical details of a camera and see about all its deficiencies, actually get behind one and actually shoot with it. It is a great camera and can be used as a professional tool. It's not about the camera itself, it's about the professional behind the camera. Any pro should be able to pick up any camera and be able to use it to its fullest potential. So it's not about the piece of hardware, it's about how you use it. And we're going to show you exactly what the 60D can do by setting up one remote flash using our wireless flash controller. And we're going to fire that into a modifier and show you just what kind of results you can get with this new system from Canon. Okay. Right now we're going to set up the 60D for a wireless flash control. First I'm going to go to the menu option here and I'm going to come down, let's focus on this just a little bit better, I'm going to come down to our option for flash control. Now the flash firing is set for enable. I am going to pop up the flash on the actual 60D itself. So built in flash, we're going to actually turn that off a second and pop up our flash. Now I'm going to go back into our menu. So go down to flash control, go into built-in flash function setting. You see we've got ETTL2 at the top, first curtain. If we want to enable the actual wireless function, we have to turn this on to enable. There's a couple of different options here. The first option here basically fires your remote flash as well as the pop-up flash. So basically both flashes are going to contribute to the exposure and they're controlled basically as a group. The second option turns on just the external flash. So the remote flash will fire a little beam to trigger the other flashes but it won't contribute to the exposure. And the third option fires the remote flash plus the pop-up flash. So you can actually put different settings on each. Now, since I like to work with off-camera flash and I don't like to use a lot of direct flash, I'm actually going to go to this second option here so we only fire our remote flashes. So, in this case, we only have one setup. I'm only going to show you on one how to use one flash on this particular video. So now that I've got this on, my external flash is already set to channel 1 and it's going to fire all in channel 1's group. So since I've only got one flash, it's only going to fire one flash. If I had multiple flashes in, on channel 1, they would all fire as a group. You can uh, put in your own exposure compensation for the flash or for this group of flashes just by clicking here and you can go plus exposure or minus on the exposure. So right now I'm going to leave that at zero and we're going to take a couple of test shots here just as is. I am going to change my drive so I can turn on my wireless timer and that's all set. One of the cool great things about the 60D is this nice articulating screen. So I can pop this out and actually face this towards me back up here I can face that towards me so I can see what's happening as I'm sitting down taking a shot of myself so we're going to set that up next the flash is actually I'm going to pan this around here and tip back it's set up in an umbrella uh, it's just one flash there going through a shoot through umbrella so that's how we're actually going to use this today 
So we'll pan this back over here at the back of the camera. And I'm going to pause the video here for a second, just shift things around so we can get a view and see how everything is set up. Now I am actually loving the live view on this particular camera. As you can see, I've got the live view up on the screen over here and you can probably see me waving <laughs> in the actual picture itself. You may not see the focus square there, but I do have that right on my head. And I've got an RC6 uh, remote trigger here that's going to actually fire off this camera um, via infrared. So I'm just going to hit that. I've got this little remote here in my hand and I'm going to fire it off. I'm going to turn into my light. I'm going to tip my head down so I don't get a lot of glare and reflection in my glasses. Just basically hit that remote to focus on myself, saying busy, and it's going to take the shot. Of course, I was talking while I did it. And there you see we've got a little pop-up or a histogram as I'm actually taking the shot. It's that simple. The built-in flash fired the remote. Now, granted, it's not pointing directly at the remote flash, but there's enough bounce in this room where it's actually going to go off. So I'm actually loving this uh, articulating screen. It makes it great for doing self-portraits. I'm zoomed in about uh, to uh, 50 millimeters here, I believe. Actually, uh, uh, about 45 on my uh, Tamron 17 to 50. So I'm going to zoom that actually in all the way now and get just a little bit closer view. I'm going to move in a little bit closer here as well. Now when I use this remote controller, it also focuses on me before I actually take the shot. So, got it in live view mode here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more on myself. There, that looks pretty good. Sit up tall, make sure I get my position right. Now I don't have that focus square right directly on my eyes anymore since I've moved in closer. So I'm just going to pan and move that down just a little bit so it's right on the eyes. All right, and again, I'm going to turn towards my light. I'm going to hit my focus here. It's locked focus and it's taking the shot. And it's that simple. So there's our results on the screen. It's that simple how to set up a remote flash. I'm gonna talk into the screen as it's recording here. <laughs> so it's that simple to set up a remote flash. I can see everything that's going on as I take the shots. This is one of the coolest things from Canon. I'm just loving this articulating screen feature right now. Um, making it really easy to do self-portraits. Before I had such a devil of a time trying to get the portraits just right and getting the focus now. I just point with my little radio trigger, it focuses on it before it takes a shot, and boom, I'm done. So I'm going to play around with this some more tonight. You should try it out if you have a 430EX2. Um, that will work, or a 420 any of the other Canon flashes uh, that support ETTL and it can work in a slave mode will work just fine. Um, you don't have to go out and buy the 580 and stick that on the shoe anymore. You can do it all with uh, some of the cheaper Canon flashes. So that's essentially it. Again, if I needed to add compensation on that, I can always go in the menu and add compensation. And compensation. If I wanted to add the actual flash triggering here, in the front of the camera, I could actually set that up to fire as well. So I get fill and a main light, and of course I can adjust the ratios between the two. One of the cool things I didn't mention here, the pop-up flash on the actual Canon uh, can be controlled manually, which is something that wasn't uh, done in the previous uh, XXD models. So you can actually control the pop-up flash's output power. So I think that is an awesome feature to have. Uh, on your camera. So um, great stuff, Canon. I'm loving it. Uh, in the next video, we might add another flash. So we have two flash groups going on. We'll do an A group and a B group. So uh, stay tuned. We'll probably be coming out with those videos real soon.